So you finally got your Linux cloud gaming PC all set up, ready to go from maximum settings here. Well, you've got to get some games installed before you can jump in, and we'll do that with Steam and with Epic Origin and Ubisoft through Lutris. Now, Steam itself is the Linux version here, pre-installed on your system, and it's the easiest way to get into your game. So we'll open up Steam, and we'll go right in here, and you'll be able to purchase the games you want to play, or you'll be able to go into your library and install the games that you already own. We've got some games like Cyberpunk, God of War, Monster Hunter Rise, and others installed here. So you'll be able to purchase or install your library, and this works just like it would on any other Linux or basically Windows-based PC for these games, and what will be compatible to run through the compatibility layers here through Steam for Linux. Installing your game just like anywhere else, click Install, you'll get your prompt. Click Next and continue on to download your game. But what if you're installing a game that's not Steam-based and you want to go with Epic, Ubisoft, or Origin? Well, that's where Lutris comes in. So we're going to open up Lutris, which also comes on your Linux gaming machine. And you can see we have the Epic Game Store Origin, Ubisoft. We even have the Steam for Windows version here if you needed that. But uh, we do have the pre-installed Linux version of Steam that works well here. And if I click down here on my platforms for Windows, you'll see Epic, Origin, and Ubisoft come up here and we need to install these so that we can run them and install our games we'll click the install button here for epic we'll click install over here and once you have your file location we'll click install again we'll leave these set to download click continue and we'll start the download and install process for epic and this is a rinse and repeat process for all three of these launchers it's the exact same thing i'm going to go ahead and speed us forward here so that we don't waste your time through this install get us to the end of the epic install right here as it finishes up and then it'll tell us it's ready to launch. But before we launch into that, I wanna install the other two launchers. And like I said, this is a complete rinse and repeat solution for these. So we're gonna close this without launching it. And we're gonna go ahead and install Origin next. So I'll highlight Origin, I'll click install just like I did for Epic. And then we'll click install right here, have our file location, click install, leave it at download, click continue, and it will be the exact same process for Origin. Now let's go ahead and fast forward this like I did with Epic and let Origin wrap up its install and we'll get into Ubisoft here, which is the same thing. I just sped through this so that you can see same process for all three stores. So they're all installed. Now we can highlight them, click play and log into our accounts. So we'll click the play button down here and our Epic Game Store will launch ready for us to go. Now this being the first launch, it's gonna download and install its updates, but after that, you'll get your typical login screen. So go ahead, get logged in to your Epic Store account if you've already got one or make a new one if you need to. And then you'll be able to get right in here and purchase games from the Epic Game Store or you'll be able to go over to your library and install the games that you already own, just like with any of the other stores or just like running these over on your Windows PC. As you can see here, library pops up and we can install our games right here. Now, when we're done using an app like this, we can just go down to the bottom, click stop, and then that will close us out. Now, of course, you could also just close the program normally, but using stop often works better right here in Lutris. So we'll go ahead and fire up Origin, same process. Origin is gonna load up for us, and then once it does, we're gonna have our login. So go ahead and get logged into your Origin account right here, and then it'll pop up. Just like Epic, you can get into the store, purchase the games you want to buy, or you can get right into your library and install those games from there. Now, same process. If we're done with Origin, we could either just close out the app on our own as we normally would, or click Stop right here on Origin. So Ubisoft Connect will highlight that. Click Play and load that one up. This one takes just a little bit longer for Ubisoft Connect. I'll leave it real time here for you to see, but it's not too bad. Once it gets brought up here, same process, you'll log into your Ubisoft account and then you'll be able to get in and check out your game. So I'll get logged in here. And there we go, I am on my Ubisoft Connect account here on the app, ready to go. And of course, like everywhere else, you can install the games you already own or you can buy some new games from the store and get going that way. But that'll get you going with Epic Origin and Ubisoft Connect all through Lutris here. And of course, we've got Steam running right here on the machine for you to install your games as well. So that's how you install the games ready to go here on your Linux cloud gaming machine from maximum settings. So whether you're playing some God of War from Steam or maybe you're jumping into some cyberpunk over on Steam or The Witcher 3 from your Epic Game Store account, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order from Origin, or Immortals Phoenix Rising from Ubisoft Connect. You're able to get great gaming performance here from your Linux cloud gaming machine from Mac settings. And guys, now you know how to install those games.